Starting. Hello, my name is Italo Vignoli and I'm handling marketing at the Document Foundation. When we announced LibreOffice in 2010, we wanted to make sure that the innovation introduced by OpenOffice 10 years before could be maintained over the next 10 years. Today, 11 years after, we can say that we have achieved that objective and uh, LibreOffice uh, is uh, as innovative as ever today is the best platform uh, for personal productivity uh, available uh, on different uh, operating system, different hardware, different environments and all of this uh, has in common the LibreOffice technology. Let's see how the evolution has happened. In 2010 LibreOffice was only for the desktop. Today, in 2021, LibreOffice is available for the desktop, even in long-term supported version optimized for enterprises, is available online for the cloud, is available on mobile for Android and iOS, and for Chrome OS. The different products carry are based on the same technology, although in some cases their name is not LibreOffice, but is the name of the ecosystem company that is releasing the software. All these products from different organizations share the same engine, which is common to all modules. This is an incredibly important characteristic and is a differentiating factor for LibreOffice. LibreOffice technology is the result of 10 years of development in the right direction. When we started, the developers uh, have focused their attention on cleaning and refactoring the source code. Then, uh, uh, when the source code was good enough uh, to evolve, uh, they've uh, started to focus on code quality and consistency using uh, technologies that uh, are allow us to improve uh, on, that, on that side. And uh, they have also, developers have also created uh, easy and extensive APIs for development, but also for uh, macro development uh, when uh, users need to uh, develop or introduce some automation in their files. What is incredibly important, what is the, really the differentiating factor for LibreOffice is that the for all the solution, for all the different flavors of the software, the processing engine is the same and is common to all modules. This gives uh, a strong integration, uh, of course, uh, more robustness, of course, uh, improves uh, the consistency of the results uh, and therefore, uh, in general, provides uh, a better office suite. Today, we can say that LibreOffice technology is the best open source platform for personal productivity and is tightly integrated on desktop, mobile and cloud. But let's see from a visual representation how this is happening. Uh, in the case of LibreOffice, which is on top, you, as you see, we have a common productivity engine This uh, uh, and uh, we have uh, the same productivity engine is also the productivity engine that produces the documents. So there is a very strong consistency. We can say that the documents which are developed on the different platform are exactly the same. Of course, then you have a different user interface because what is good on the desktop is not good on mobile and cloud and therefore you need the different uh, user interface. Uh, the other office suites, both proprietary and open core, have, have been developed in, uh, in a completely different way. Uh, they are less integrated and uh, when they are even when they are integrated, they have uh, a different engine for the desktop application 
for the mobile application and for the cloud application. And in many cases, they have a different engine for the word processor, a different engine for the spreadsheet and a different engine for the presentation module. So you, uh, you, you have a matrix of different uh, possibilities in terms of document and uh, uh, for sure the document uh, uh, even if they refer to a common description which uh, should always be remember is not a standard microsoft office documents are not standard at all uh, e when even when uh, they refer to to that this pseudo standard, they are different on, on every platform. This is the reason why we have developed a logo for the LibreOffice technology, a logo that embodies absolutely the characteristic of uh, this platform. Basically, you can uh, look at LibreOffice from uh, any point of view you will always see the same engine you will always see the same documents and you will always see a similar uh, user interface and a very consistent behavior uh, in relationship to the user this is very important uh, you don't need to spend mm, a terrible amount of money to to train people on different platform uh, uh, the results are predictable and uh, they are also uh, very easy to understand uh, uh, if uh, analyzed by technical people. Uh, what is where uh, is uh, this happening? So LibreOffice development uh, uh, is uh, leveraging uh, a global infrastructure which has been created by the Document Foundation over the year. So we have Garrett, we have Tinderboxes, uh, uh, we have Git, Bugzilla, uh, we have a wiki uh, to document uh, the different uh, the different solutions, uh, OpenGrok, an online help, uh, the API for Uno, we have Weblate for uh, localization. Uh, we have performance analysis, we have crash reporting. Uh, it's uh, developers uh, can find uh, what they need uh, in uh, a single uh, infrastructure which has been uh, uh, created together with developers and is maintained together with developers. Uh, in addition, developers are using static code analysis tools uh, the main one is Coverity Scan and LibreOffice has a defect density of 0 .0 .0, uh, 0.0.0 is uh, probably uh, the largest open source project to have uh, such a low defect density and this uh, uh, has been possible thanks to the work uh, of developers based on the, the uh, static code analysis. In addition, we are using uh, fuzzing technology to uh, spot vulnerabilities before they uh, get uh, on uh, the master source code. Um, uh, so far, we have been uh, able to uh, prevent vulnerabilities to reach the end user uh, and uh, let's cross our fingers to, to and hope that this happens in the future as well. The API uh, are um, were uh, considered rather difficult, the UNO uh, APIs, but LibreOffice Kit uh, has been uh, developed uh, to allow access uh, to functionalities without uh, the need of using uh, the UNO uh, environment. The, the idea is to provide a, a thin API that allows people to write uh, um, apps without having to compile or link to LibreOffice. And this uh, allows fast rendering of documents for any application. So which is the LibreOffice uh, unique selling proposition? LibreOffice is the best open source office suite 
ever and is backed by a strong community and a strong ecosystem. Please remember, it is the best open source office suite because it's based on, uh, a, on a technology which has evolved over the years, which is solid, which is different from the technologies used by other office suites and it's more integrated. Uh, LibreOffice technology is by far a differentiating advantage for LibreOffice. In addition, LibreOffice is based on uh, an, the ODF ISO standard document format for interoperability and digital sovereignty and provides a superior compatibility with proprietary document format. We want to offer users the best in uh, independently from the document format they, they choose. We suggest to use the standard one, but if they want to, to use a proprietary document format, we provide them with the best interoperability. And again, with a strong consistency between documents which are developed on the different flavors of the software. So whatever version of LibreOffice you are using, whatever platform you are choosing to run LibreOffice, your document will be consistent. They, we can say that they will be exactly the same. You will never have issues in opening the documents uh, in a, in a different, on a different platform, in exchanging the documents uh, with other people. So LibreOffice provides the best of free open source software and adds professional support available for organizations which are deploying office productivity tools for production and management of strategic business contents. It is important that enterprises understand uh, that behind LibreOffice there is a very large and uh, consistent development effort and uh, they should start uh, contributing back uh, using one of the many available uh, ways uh, to contribute back to the project. And uh, again, uh, showing uh, the LibreOffice technology logo for uh, the last time. Thank you for listening uh, and uh, Please remember, the LibreOffice the technology, Libre Office technology is what is makes LibreOffice Libre different, different and what makes LibreOffice the software, that, the software you that you should choice for your uh, personal productivity needs. Independently from uh, the format of your document, the platform of uh, choice, uh, if it's a desktop, if it's mobile, if it's cloud, LibreOffice is always the best solution and the best software available for uh, every kind of uh, personal productivity need.